Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And we are back with another first impression slash comparison video where I'm gonna be trying a fragrance thanks to one of my amazing subscribers and supporters of the channel, Benjamin. He made this video happen by sending me this fragrance that gets compared to one of my most talked about, most beloved fragrances in my collection by far. Now, that scent that I absolutely love and is without question in my top 10, probably my favorite from this house, and it is a super underrated scent from this house, that scent is none other than Creed Himalaya. And you guys know how I feel about this. If you've watched the channel for any like the time you know that this is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Incredible. However, the scent that Benjamin sent over gets compared to this all the time. Now, I shouldn't even say compared. A lot of people will say that Creed Himalaya straight copied this next scent that I'm gonna that I'm gonna mention to you guys. Scent I am talking about is Paco Rabanne's Excess. And this is one that you guys have mentioned to me, knowing how much I love Himalaya. You've mentioned this one as being an uh, inexpensive alternative to Creed's Himalaya. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a first impressions of Excess, tell you guys what I think of it, what I get from it. Then I'm going to spray on my other hand the Himalaya and just kind of compare the two. Now, this is probably not a fair comparison only because of my feelings that exist for Creed's Himalaya. However, I will try to be as unbiased as I can and really let you guys know if this is a legitimate replacement for the much more expensive Creed Himalaya. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So just some quick history on the Paco Rabanne XS. This fragrance was initially released in 1994. The Himalaya, not until 2002. So right there, if these are as close as people say they are, much like Creed stealing Mont Blanc's individual's fragrance DNA, because that came out first before Creed's original Santal. So this was released in 1994, not this particular bottle. It was repackaged, re-released in 2018. This formulation that I have in my hand right now is a 2022 formulation. I'm assuming that it's still the same formulation. According to the brand, it is. They didn't change it. Now, whether... Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Definitely, definitely getting Himalaya vibes. If, funny enough, it smells a little bit more herbal to me in the air, uh, not greener necessarily, just more of that herbal earthiness that I don't get as much of in the Himalaya. So I just put this on skin. I'm just gonna see what this does off of skin and then I'll spray the Himalaya and see what that does. Yeah, I mean, I like it. It definitely reminds me of Himalaya. I would say that this is a little bit more uh, potent almost. It's not as soft of a fragrance as the Himalaya is. It's a little rougher around the edges, not synthetic, just a little less cohesive on first spray. Now I'm basing that off a of memory. Obviously I'm not comparing these side by side yet, but let me try to stick to this fragrance and let you guys know what I get. What I really like about this one is that it has a slight creaminess to it. Uh, almost vanilla-like. Now, I don't know if vanilla is a note in here, but along with those aromatic, fresh, green citrus notes is a slight hint of something vanilla, which I was not expecting. I was expecting this to be kind of a straight-up 90s barbershop-y type fragrance, and the vanilla would be a twist uh, to that DNA. So where this was originally released in 1994, probably would have been sort of an uncommon a uh, combination of notes, if it is in fact in here. It's just what my nose is picking up right now. Kind of fading. It's a little bit creamy, but it's definitely giving me the sort of barbershoppy vibe. Real masculine, real kind of gentlemanly put together, classic 90s fragrance, which is what I love about Himalaya. So they're definitely in the same ballpark without question. Definitely picking up some woods here. Sandalwood is a standout note in the Himalaya for me. I'm picking it up here. 
which I love. I love sandalwood and fragrances. I think it's super classy, adds a richness to the fragrance, uh, creaminess from those woods. Sandalwood is like kind of a knockout punch in a lot of fragrances. I think it adds a lot of dimension and it does it here. So uh, as a standalone scent, not comparing it to Himalaya, I'm a fan. I'm already a fan of this. This is kind of right up my alley. This is not going to be for a younger guy, in my opinion. I mean, you could wear it. It's not sweet. It doesn't have a ton of imbroxen or anything like that. It harkens back to a simpler time, so to speak. And it's a masculine fragrance overall. So I'm dying to check and see how this compares to Himalaya. Let me get on the other wrist. Okay, so we have the Paco Rabanne XS on my left wrist and Himalaya on my right. Oh, man. Okay, so they're definitely similar. But immediately, the Himalaya, obvious. And again, guys, this is not a fair comparison in terms of quality because the Creed is much more expensive. You are paying for a higher quality fragrance, more naturals, and that's evident immediately on from sniffing. But I will say, and I'm not sure what the, I'm going to look up, I'll post it here, what the excess is selling for right now. But last time I checked, it was fairly inexpensive. I'm talking, you know, around $40 or so, maybe even less. Yeah, I mean, just the green notes here, the earthiness is so authentic smelling in the Himalaya. It smells like fresh cut grass. It also has a tinge of green Irish tweed, and, they, and you can tell it's the Creed DNA. There's ambergris there. It's very apparent. So I'm picking up the Creed DNA, which the Paco Rabanne doesn't necessarily have. They are similar. I'm picking up sandalwood around the same time that I started to pick it up in the excess, and it's definitely here. I will say that there's more of a minty herbalness to the excess. So what I was getting in the air first spray, picking up that more herbal nuance is not as forward in the Himalaya, which I think I prefer because again, the sandalwood is a little bit more of a standout here as opposed to the excess. But that's preference. It really comes down to what you enjoy in a fragrance. I would say that this is also a little more citrus punch to it, uh, more natural smelling, obviously, and a little sweeter. As these settle down a little bit, they're starting to smell a little closer to one another, getting to that point where it would be very difficult for the average person to tell them apart, which I'm happy to report because anytime there's an opportunity to smell close to, and I wouldn't even call, again, in this case, you could call this the clone of this. Now, whether it improves on the formula, that's up to the person smelling it to decide, but whenever I can suggest a pretty inexpensive replacement for something that I talk about on this channel that I absolutely love, that's super expensive, uh, worth it to me personally, but because I love it so much and I find myself wanting to wear this all the time. This is a nice alternative, absolutely. And I don't even need to wear do a full wearing of this. I can get a sense of how this is going to change. I am going to do a full wearing this week, and I'll talk about it more next week in my weekly wears video. I'll give you a better sense of longevity and performance, and if I got any atten you know, positive attention or negative attention from this. And I'd be curious to see what my wife thinks. Overall, Excess from Paco Rabanne, really impressed with this one. And you guys, again, nailed it. It's not a Middle Eastern clone. It's not a dupe. This, in essence, is the original formula for what Himalaya was inspired by. So I just happen to fall in love with Himalaya. I think if you're nostalgic for the 90s, you want a put-together, masculine, clean, effortless fragrance that you can wear in any situation. This is going to be perfect for dressing up, dressing down. You're going to smell clean, classy, elevated. Rest assured that any situation that you find yourself in, that you just want to do a couple spritzes and smell great, this is going to work. So I'm super impressed and I'm so happy to have this in the collection and be able to talk about it now more on the channel. This will be included in future lists. So Really impressed.
Paco Rabanne's excess. That's all I have today, guys. I would love to know your opinion. Have you tried both of these? Just one. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on Paco Rabanne's access along with Creed's Himalaya. Drop it in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear what you guys think. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.